Welcome back, everyone. Is it just... Is it just the yearly tradition that we start the year off with a shitty horror movie? Uh, man, the night's on... Look, I had been joking for a while that this looked like that bit from Family Guy where Stephen King is asking, he's like, okay, so my, for my 127th book, it's going to be this couple gets attacked by a lamp monster. Rawr. You're just running on empty now, aren't you? Rawr, rawr. When can I have it? It, it? it looked like that. But you know what? Look, every movie can look good or bad until you go see it. So obviously I'm going to reserve my judgment. Within the first five minutes, I knew this movie was going to suck. Uh, first off, it starts off, not even at the origin of the pool, starts off, like, with another victim, um, of the pool, uh, earlier on, like, in the 90s, uh, and right from the get, I'm watching this, like, oh, this is gonna suck, because the biggest problem with the movie can be basically illustrated in that first opening scene. The writing is terrible minor props first all the actors are doing the best they can and they're all more or less serviceable Wyatt Russell I actually really like despite the fact that we don't like um Walker that much as a character I kept uh, U.S. agent it doesn't mean uh Wyatt Russell isn't good as as that character I like the character in terms of the story they're telling with them it's just we don't want that cap we want our cap <laughs> But no, Wyatt Russell's doing, he he seems like he's kind of into the joke a little bit, especially with some of his acting. There is a scene where I did kind of get a little chuckle <laughs> from the way he was acting. Like, it was kind of fun. He's having a little bit of fun. Uh, but it, the story, obviously, the story is he's a uh, former, like, professional baseball player. Uh, it turns out, though, he has MS, and they're moving from house to house uh, as he's trying to, you know, prolo uh, you know keep the state of the disease off. They find the pool. Turns out the pool's got the ability to kind of, like, help heal him, but at what cost? And we know there's something in the pool. It's taking people. Kills the cat in the trailer. Oh, Marco Polo. Okay, so, like I said before, the, the biggest problems with the film can be seen in the first five minutes, because the script is terrible. Dialogue's not very good. A lot of exposition stuff. You meet the, one of the original owners of the pool, and they give the exposition dump. But it's just marred. With bad character writing, because logic, when you really break it down, 90% of the people in this movie are making bad choices. And they're making bad choices for no effing reason. <laughs> like, I'm watching this not uh, for uh, most of it, like, okay, get out of the pool. Get out of the pool. If you're scared and unsure what's going on, get out of the pool. Get out of the pool. Get out of the pool. <laughs> I'm like, after a while, like the scene that you see in the original trailer, the Marco Polo, when you're, she, after a while, is kind of freaked out about what's going on. She still has her eyes closed. Like, after she's freaked out and she's, like, thinks she's playing the game, she still has her eyes closed. Like, what? Close your, open your eyes. You're freaked, you're freaked out right now. You don't know what's going on. Open your eyes. The game's over. The game is over. The, the level of bad decision making in this film just kept escalating and escalating and escalating and i i'm just sitting there and the only time jumps there was a there was like one or two jump scares that i would say were mildly effective i i did get the mild jumps like ah, <laughs> like son of a bitch but it was some of them were just plain fake outs others were just like again though for me issue with jump scares isn't even the scare effect it's the sudden loud noise shocking my system like ah son of a bitch but either way, it's like, uh, it's just bad decision based on bad decision. Beyond that, beyond the bad decision, it's all wrapped around the premise of this pool is creepy. You want to know what this movie is a combination of? It is a combination of poltergeist, the pool clearly or something. The pool is on top of something. That's all you need to know. Poltergeist is a big one. My dad actually brought that up. The Shining, Amityville Horror. Deathbed, the bed that eats people, and an episode of Supernatural. None of which are the good versions of those things. <laughs> it's like the it's like the uh, the TV version of The Shining. It's like the crappy Amityville horror remakes. It's like one of the bad episodes or the lackluster episodes of Supernatural. It is or some Poltergeist sequels. It's just all these concepts thrown into one pool, and the pool. Is it even a very interesting pool? It's just, oh man. 
Oh man, it, it's kind of actually amazing how and the, when I got out of the movie, I'm like, okay, this is bad. The more I'm thinking, I'm like, this is bad. This isn't just bad. This is bad. Uh, not a great way to start off the new year, folks. Uh, we'll see if migration, which I am going to go see later tonight, uh, will maybe lift my spirits. Up. At least it's an animated kids film. So if it's bad, at least it's designed for like kids. But man, uh, they, and again, there you get the tropes of oh, I didn't want to tell you, but this this pool house has a history. Uh, just oh uh, man, yeah, there. Uh, no, I forgot. There's a little bit of smile in there at one point. Like I'm not gonna give away what the reveal is. That's that I won't give that away. It's a pretty stupid reveal to be honest, but I won't give it away. That said, uh, this the reveal of what actually the, is going on with the pool is more of the like is like the supernatural episode Amityville horror no Amityville um Poltergeist thing, and I'm like, and I'm thinking the whole time here, why don't they just fill in the pool? <laughs> why didn't anyone ever fill this pool in? Well, not with dirt. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna specify that not with dirt, but with cement. <laughs> um, Briar, Brad Jones are here, and like, yeah, why didn't anyone just ever fill this up with cement or I don't know, liquid metal or something? You know, something where water can't seep through it. <laughs> uh, like I, I don't get like there. There's been plenty of opportunities in the past for this to happen, and I don't know why no one ever did that. Oh, man, it's just, we don't even see the, uh, we like we get the technical origin of the pool, but we get it so late into the story that it brings up the other problem. This movie takes its freaking time. Like, yeah, you're getting these little scares here or there, but because you're dealing with the ooh, spookiness of the pool, it is just dragging its ass to get to the punch of this of the pool, the punchline of the pool, if you will. The movie, the movie is barely an hour and a half long, and it felt two hours long. It, it just is taking its time so much, and it's not even like the jump scares that they give us give us aren't even that good. There's like one or two that I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't actually see that one coming. You know what? I'm not gonna. I, I will say this: the scene in the trailer where she's doing the Marco Polo, and it's like Marco, and she goes Polo, and it pulls her under. There is something actually added to the scene in the movie where I'm like, oh, okay, it wasn't in the trailer. Because I'm expecting the actual scene in the trailer to be like, okay, she's got to get pulled under. But no, there is something they add in that scene. I'm like, oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to be there. Okay, all right, we're, I'll give them credit for the hiding that. Uh, but otherwise, it's just it's cheap scares, a ramshackle together plot, script and plot. The, the most I can say for it is a couple scares were okay, and Wyatt Russell, at least, is doing... I mean, all the actors are doing fine, right? Russell, Wyatt Russell's probably doing the best he can. Like I said, I actually like Wyatt Russell pretty well. Uh, he's got a good vibe to him. <clears throat> and look, he did his job well in uh, Captain America... Uh, sorry, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because we were not, I think, designed to like... Um, what is it? Something Walker. Uh, I can't remember. Is it John Walker? Uh, we weren't necessarily designed to like John Walker because he was going to be replacing Cap, and thought he couldn't replace Cap, and that's not uh, that's not how that worked. But then you like later on when you know shit happened, you're like you do feel bad for him on some level. So they, he played that, that character well, and I look forward to seeing more of him in the Thunderbolts and more of Wyatt Russell down the road. I just nah, this is not available for him. This is not a vehicle for anyone. The, the, you want you want to know what you should do with this night pool? You should dump this uh, every DVD copy you can find into the pool. <laughs> but look, the film is Blumhouse. It's January. There's not a lot of horror out right now. And so this film, will it's only made on $15 million, apparently. So this film will still probably do what Blumhouse does best and make its money back. It barely had marketing to it. I'd be willing to bet there's only like 20 million marketing and there may be 25, which would round up to a $40 million budget. So $60 million, I say it makes its money back, no problem. Uh, so we'll see what happens this weekend, but yeah, not a good start to the new year, but we'll see what happens. I got Mean Girls, what do I got? Mean Girls in, what's the other thing coming out next week? Crap, hold on. Uh, what is the other thing coming out next week? I know it's Mean Girls and something else next week. Hold on. 
Oh, let's see. Oh, the beekeeper. Oh, yeah. How can I forget the Jason, the movie I actually want to see? And the Book of Clarence. Uh, so actually, all three of the well, Book of Clarence and Beekeeper, I do want to see. Uh, we'll see about Mean Girls. I probably will. I didn't see the original Mean Girls, nor am I really all that a big fan of like the premise at all. It's not really my thing, but who knows. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.